in this video we are going to learn about limit calculator tricks or hacks or technique anywhere you want to use and after going through this video you will be able to solve problems involving limit calculator trick or hack so ensure you stay with me till the end of this video okay so so i have three questions here of which after solving these three questions with you in this video you can replicate other questions using the technique the trick or hack i will show you in this video so let's get a calculator and diving into this video okay so this is casio fs901 es plus calculator now i have already produce a video on how to do this with the white calcium calculator calcium fs and our es so if you want to watch that video or if that's the calculator you are using check the channel playlist of this video search for my video on calculator techniques with the es plus calculator you are going to see it so having done that let's look at how to do it with this particular es calculator because it's a bit different from how you do it with the white one just a, a bit difference okay so now the first thing you have to do which i only recommend is to clear your calculator now the essence of clearing the calculator is to avoid unnecessary error so that it will not interfere with whatever current or present calculation you want to do because having known that to clear this calculator unlike the white calcio calculator the fs and our es calculator the white one to clear this one this black one what all you have to do is to press shift then button 9 now if you put the instruction you want to clear all so we press option 3 which is initialize all you press 3 the full instruction it says you press record to for yes you press record to then it has to press a secure equal to again so I let's press record to again okay so right now we have cleared the calculator now what clearing does is to put your calculator in default mode very, very important so having done this we are now in a good position to solve all of these questions now Let's begin with question one. The question one says, evaluate the limit x tending to zero. Now, the first thing you have to, okay, the second thing you have to do after clearing, rather is to work with a constant. I make use of often. So I have practiced with this constant for a long time and I have not found error with it. It has not disappointed me. Even at uh, at its slightest moment, so the constant works perfectly. So ensure you work with this constant. I'm going to practice with in this video to show you the tricks or the hack or technique you'll be using. Okay, so now this is a constant. We are going to add a constant to this value. The limit is tending to x is tending to zero. So what you do, you press zero plus 0.001 so this is a constant the constant is 0.001 so because the limit is tending to zero had the it was tending to two all we could have done here is then two plus 0 0.001 but since it's tending to zero we will make use of zero zero plus 0 0.001 very, very important guys so having done this let's press a quote and see the value then this is a value so you store this number very very important guys now look at how you store a number in this particular calculator unlike in the y calcium fs in our es if it we have to be the white one to store a number in the white one what you do is to press shift then this button store sto then press the alphabet x but in this one you, you don't have to press shift if, if you press shift and this store it will not work 
So to store the, this value, just press the store first. Don't go and press shift. Only press the store. If you look at this calculator closely, STO, there you will see a call on top of it. So you press the button, then press the alphabet you want to store it. I want to store it as X. So you press X. So once you do it, it indicates here that answer has been stored what as X. Remember, don't press shift before pressing store. Just press store first and then press the X. Two, two buttons you have to press. Not like the right one, you press three buttons. But this one, just two buttons store and X. Okay, so having known this, let's go ahead and solve this question now. Press the key so that it will wipe out. Let's impute these values exactly as it is appearing here. So it's a fraction. You make use of this button, this fraction button. So just impute everything exactly as it is appearing in the question. So the, the numerator starting with a radical. A square root so we press now to bring that the x is stored the same thing with what you will press in the y cast the fs and our es plus calculator you press alpha first then the, the alphabet this button the x to come out then plus so you have two okay so remember this thing is minus you have to give space and to give space, make use of this uh, key, this white key. You press it once, then put minus, is a minus. Then we have another radical there. You press this radical. Then two, we have two. Okay. Then over, we have X. To bring out the X, press alpha and word X. It's as simple as that guys so having done this now let's press equal to and check what we are going to have as the answer very very simple guys so press equal to now okay we have 0 0.35 0 0.35 so option a says one no you know the answer option b zero you know the answer option c infinity is not the answer the answer has to be option D. So let's convert this fraction into a decimal number. So let's check option D. Let's verify it. Let's wipe out. Remember, we have 0.35 here. So let's verify this. Use this fraction, this radical root 2 over 4. Pre equal to. So now to convert this fraction into a decimal. You press SD. It's as simple as that, guys. Exactly. So this is the answer. This was what we got when we simplify this. So guys, right, this is the answer. Option D. Okay, so let's solve question two. Hope you are understanding what I'm explaining here. Let's solve a question two. Then after question two, we solve question three. Now ensure you stay between the end of this video. Because what I'm going to say concerning question three is a bit different from what we did in question one and what we're going to do in question two. So ensure you watch this video to the very end that you will learn how to solve the one that involves angle like this question three that has sine and cos. So having known that, let's check question two. The same principle or method or technique. So Having stored uh, 0 0.001 to 0, in this time I want now we have to clear the calculator because in this question to x is turning to 16. So we have to clear it so that we remove or wipe out the previous number stored. Then now to clear, so by now I have known how to clear, you press shift button 9, follow the instruction, initialize all. Press record to then press record again. So now let's store 16 plus. Remember this constant, guys. Very, very important. Don't ever forget it. 16 plus 0 0.001. Then press record to. Okay, so let's store this value. Remember to store. Don't press shift first. Just two buttons you have to press, which are uh, this. Just press store 
and the alphabet x this is the x alphabet in this button so once you do it it will indicate here that x has restored at this value okay we are good to go now let's impute the question so we have x square alpha x square okay minus two five six two five six all over so we have x alpha x minus four square so guys that's what we have there let's wait court and see what we have as our answer okay so the value is in fashion let's convert it into a decimal sd so 32 so the answer here is what 32 guys it's as simple as that okay hope you are following what i'm trying to explain here it's very, very simple guys so let's look at question three finally now after it we we'll call it a class you'll be able to solve any limit question you see using this trick or hack or technique i just explained or i'm still explaining okay guys now before you stop solve this question three if you are new to our channel be sure you subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos also give this video a thumbs up to help the algorithm of this video okay this egos class what we do here basically we help young scholars like you with tips and techniques like this that will help you to solve your academic problems easily okay so having known that let's solve question three now remember we have to clear very, very important guys don't forget to clear press shift button nine phone is twice manic clear or press three very call to then press record to we have cleared now now for this particular question question three that has angle sign of course in it now you can solve this question under degree the first two questions we solved the calculator was under degree if you look at here the mode of the calculator is under degree now for when the limit is in is having angle in it you don't solve it under degree get the wrong value you solve it in in radii or in, in, in reduce mode anyway i want to use so to put it in in reduce mode and change it for degree all you have to simply do is to press shift then menu this button now you think angle you need you press two to put an angle unit now you want radian not degree the calculator already is in degree so you want to put it in radian you press two very, very important guys so once you do it, indicate here that it has been put in radian, no longer in degree. That D will change to R. Very important, guys. So having done this, let's now store 0 0.001 to pi over 4. Okay, pi over 4 is in fashion to bring up pi. That pi is here. So you press shift, then this button, pi over 4. Okay. Then plus the constants. 0 0.001 okay so you pay equal to and store it we have the remember don't pay shift you press this store and x just these two buttons store and what x so once you do indicate here that the value has been stored just wipe it and then store the question is a fraction so we have one plus sign 2x alpha x very, very simple guys over so we have one minus cos 4x alpha x so make sure you are closing the bracket when the bracket opens ensure you close it if you don't do it it might give you syntax error when you press the quote so make sure that everything is in order very, very important guys let's close the bracket oh sorry so let's it is in order so that's it guys we are good to go so now let's play record and see what we're going to have as the answer okay one so guys the answer to this question is what one it's as simple as that so guys this 
are the tricks or hacks or techniques I use to solve limit questions with the calculator. Very, very simple. In seconds, a matter of seconds, the matter of seconds, guys, very, very simple. This way, go a long way to simplify your life for you. So, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you got value. You learned something interesting. Now, one, one more, one, once more, if you are new to our channel and you're not yet subscribed, ensure you subscribe to our channel and hit the subscribe button for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. You tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. So once you have done solving, don't forget to clear your calculator. Very, very important, guys. Shift button 9, the way, button, quality up. So we are good to go, guys. Thanks for watching this video. See you in my next video.